Hi, Leo. Welcome to the community. If you're new here and welcome back, if you are returning, thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So let's hop right into your reading here, Leo. Great Spirit of the Most High, we ask for the most highest and divine messages for Leo. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of that current paradigm. We are asking for messages from the highest, for the highest that are involved and those that are involved with Leo. Alright, I'm going to pull all of your cards out here, Leo, and we are going to clarify each of those for you. We have the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> we have the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. The Temperance. The King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles was also reversed. All right, let's get into this energy here and we're going to clarify each of these. So we have the Temperance as your major arcana here. So it feels like a, a time for you to either reconcile, heal, um, find balance, which has been a common theme amongst all of the readings I've been doing here. Really tapping in, letting go, releasing so that you can find this balance in your life here. Um, in the temperance card, number 14, breaks down to a five. Five is about change and conflict. It could also be about new cycles that are happening in your life as well. I definitely feel like there's something new that's coming in, whether that is a message or of some sort or a new thought or some sort of download that's going to take you on this new journey. And it feels like things are going to happen rather quickly for you as well. Um, excuse me, some of you may be focusing on your your business that you're building. You may be focusing on a career. You may be focused on building a new business, but overall it feels like you could be focusing on your career and your finances during this time and really trying to find some balance in that. And maybe it is because you've had some financial loss and you're focused on gain or you're, you've been gaining and you want to keep that consistent. Okay, so let's hop into these individually here. We have the Ace of Swords as your overall energy for the month of July, which brings could bring on a new challenge for you, a new conquest. But again, I do feel like some new information that could be coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can be stepping into your power, finding your courage, being a leader in some sort of way, um, focusing on your prosperity and your success. But again, it feels like a deep intellectual shift that is happening for you. We also have the King of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords. A lot of sore energy coming up for you. So a lot of thoughts that you could be feeling, um, a lot of communication that you could be having as, as well. Let's see what's coming up from this energy. I'm feeling a new interaction. Um, so this could be an interaction with someone. Let's see what this, is about, what this is about because I'm looking at the King of Swords reverse and this is this could be a conflict. Okay, this could be conflict between you and someone um, that you could be dealing with or someone that you may come up against where it may feel negative or someone's trying to influence you in some sort of way or they have been influenced. You could be a father energy, but a masculine energy in your life. I don't know if this is someone that you already know or someone that could be coming into your life, but it definitely feels like there's some sort of conflict and then there's a revelation. So that Ace of Swords is letting me know that there's some sort of clarity or mental agility that you have around someone that you may be dealing with, okay? Because it feels like here, Leo, some of you may be putting too much energy and time and caring about what people think, how people see you, how, how they view you in general, what they have to say, and it may have something to do with whoever this King of Swords energy is, whether that is a, a person of a power, like an authority figure, or someone who just has power over you, has been had has had power over you, like a father, a grandfather, or some like a guardian or something. But either way, there is some imbalance that is coming up for you, and there is some fear around this. But I do feel like there is a revelation to be able to move on from that. As I'm looking at the Six of Swords as your next card. To be moving on from whatever you have been holding that you've been fearful of. Because it feels like you, like there has been some sort of poor communication between the two of you. Like there has been a back and forth arguments. There could some sort of defeat in some sort of way. And where you kind of like had to be defensive. It feels like it could be you and a child that we could be talking about here. You and your parent or, you know, like I said, you and and 
um, an authority figure that you're dealing with here. But I, like I said, it almost feels like you're going to have to make a decision about something to walk away from whatever this is so that you can have your peace and mental clarity, <clears throat> excuse me, and moving forward. Okay, you have to sort of become the leader in your life, which lets me know it's like you, you're taking back your power in some sort of way from whoever this person may be to you. The Six of Swords is showing up in your challenge and your obstacle position. So this is definitely you moving over into moving into calmer waters. So it feels like there could be some distress or some dis-ease, some uncomfort, some tense intensity or anxieties that could be coming up for you this month, but you're going to be walking away or moving away from that. Some of you may be seeking counseling or um, some sort of someone helping you move transition out of this. Because there is a grand exit. So some of you could be leaving a job, a relationship, leaving a friendship, whatever this is for you, you're left you're letting it go and leveling up in a way. Okay, so there's a transformation that's happening where you're moving from things that feel difficult to something that feels calmer um, and healing. And some of you may be grappling about that as well. Maybe there is some sort of attachment or tie to whoever this person is, whatever this emotion or thought is that you have been holding on to, and it feels uncomfortable to move past it. It may even feel uncomfortable to move away from someone. And some of you, maybe this could be some sort of abusive situation where you're fearful of moving, you're fearful of letting go fearful of getting caught because I do feel I'm looking at as I'm looking at this woman the child is here too some of you are taking your you yourself and your children to calmer waters I feel like you kind of go unrecognized in a way like you're covering up almost like you're hiding from something as you're moving away from whatever this is let's clarify this six of swords and see what's coming up for you something was definitely imbalanced and now you're just like I said you're moving towards making things better <clears throat> excuse me there is a level of uncertainty that is coming up as well we have the empress in reverse and then we have the eight of cups in reverse that is coming out for you clarifying this six of swords so let's fill into this energy here <clears throat> yeah so there's some conflict that comes up there's a little bit of difficulty and some of you may even be having a difficulty with even conceiving children as well okay that is coming up may even be having an issue during you know while uh, during childbirth or during your pregnancy in some way but there feels like a lack of something uh, with a connection with someone else so you being disconnected from your mother or father you being disconnected from your children like I said, this could be father, child that we were talking about, or some sort of guardian and child. Like there's, there's some, you're walking away from something. Could you be walking away from a relationship, <laughs> excuse me, leaving children behind or fighting for custody in some sort of way? Um, it definitely feels like it's, like it's challenging, okay? This five of, this five of cups energy is like, definitely conflict and change it feels uncomfortable it feels like I don't know Leo is it you or someone else that's leaving it's you or your person or you, you know we could be walking away from a job as well but you or it's you and someone like someone's walking away from something and leaving something behind and it feels very heavy that's what it feels like that's what I'm getting from that an obstacle or challenge so that's not going to resonate with everybody out there this is general but there is some sort of disconnect that is coming up. Very interesting. And, and I feel like it has something to do around family or children. Or it could just be your relationships in general. It could also be attached to some emotions that you may have. Emotions that you might have about fertility or bringing children into the world. Maybe there's some conflict between you and your person. You know, whether someone wants children, some someone doesn't. Or there's... There's a um, there's a clash because maybe it has been a hard time trying to conceive and then that emotional instability kicks in and then you're sort of going back and forth because there's a lot of frustration involved. Whatever this is, I do feel like the King of Swords, it definitely makes me feel like someone of authority though. So I don't know if this is something that has that's going into court, has been in court, 
but you're, I feel like you're just, you're, you're walking away from, from something. I feel like you get what you need, whatever clarity you need, whatever challenge you needed to overcome, and then you can move away from that. Where you're headed is the Eight of Wands, okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sorry, I've been dealing with my throat since cancer. I think I need to do a little bit more cleansing to get that energy out. <clears throat> so forgive me if I'm clearing my throat and trying to push through whatever this blockage was that uh, I was feeling in their energy. Um, okay, so where you're headed is like some of you are moving. Okay, some of you are moving. Some of you are in communications about moving. But there's there could be some sort of communication coming in about something. Let's Let's see what this is here. This could also just be growth and you find stability in your life as well. But let's see what's coming up. A level of success could be coming up for you. Strength. Judgment. We have the Ten of Wands reversed. And we have the Hermit. Okay, so Major Arcana here. <clears throat> Whatever this is, um, I feel like you're looking, I feel like what's headed towards you is... Um, some clarity or good news. Be something that something that has been heavy on you um, here, Leo. Something's been heavy, and you're. If it feels like you feel like you're about to collapse, like everything is sort of coming down on you, like you know, weighing on your shoulders, and you're trying to prioritize prioritize things, and it feels like you have no control over whatever this is. But I feel like there is some relief that is coming in for you. And the first thing I'm feeling from this hermit is alone, okay? But I don't feel like it's alone because people have left. I feel like it is a choice for you to take some time to yourself here to contemplate things, okay? And get the guidance and the mentorship that you're needing, whether from your spirit guides or from a facilitator, what, whoever is helping you through whatever this is. Because it feels like you don't feel like you used to. Things have changed, Things have changed in how you look at relationships, how you look at money and work and all of those things. And so you're trying to get clarity around it instead of just being in the hustle and bustle of everything. But this is an opportunity for things to change. So it feels like things can change rather rapidly for you during this time frame. Um, and I do feel like an, um, an energy of you taking action on something. So you're taking action. You're taking action on whatever has been heavy and you're, um, you're solving some of the problems that have been lingering, okay? Because it feels, again, like a continued pressure. Like I said, with whatever has been weighing on you, and, and some of you, I feel like this has something to do with family in a way, some sort of family dynamic that you're needing to step away from, okay? Very interesting energy here. Um, let's see what's, what's um, happening in your near future. We have the temperance. So it feels like... You're trying to reconcile and like heal from everything that has been spewed out or put out or, you know, has been weighing on your heart in some sort of way. And then you got this clarity, you get this clarity. And so you're trying to sift through those energies and try to move into um, a, a space of really caring for yourself. And this is why it goes like the hermit and then the temperance. So you take time of you taking time away from something or someone in order to heal yourself. OK, <clears throat> I'm always a fan of um, pouring into yourself. So this is an energy of attuning. So we have the Six of Cups reversed, and then we have the Chariot. So we have another major arcana coming out, clarifying the Temperance card here. All right, so let's see what's happening here. So some of you, this is, again, has something to do with family, children in some way. There's memories that are coming up, whether it's a difficult childhood, negativity that has been around you or in your relationships. You're feeling some sort of negative energy from the past that could be an ex or something. Something that is something that has been lingering that hasn't been let go of. I feel like you're trying to work through that and conquer that, right, so that you can be victorious. But I do find, I do feel... Spirit is reminding that you aren't on the right track, so you're on the you're taking the right direction. So if you feel like you need to take time alone to heal from whatever you have been through, Leo, this is an opportunity to do it. I'm feeling some of you may even be visiting a childhood home or um, moving into a new home, but there's something about there could be something about this new home reminding you of some of something from the past from a past home, or it could be memories that's coming up. 
or even dreams that you may be having about places that you used to live. It feels like it could be recurring for some of you. So this would be an opportunity to grab your dream journal and write down what is coming up because it feels like it could be recurring for, for some of you. And there is some sort of mes message in that that needs to be decoded. So there is a level of strength coming with your healing. I love that. There is a level of strength coming with this healing that you're doing here, Cancer. So you're on the right track. So if some of you have been confused about what next step you should take. Some of you are needing to take a step back from something that feels that feels heavy, some of, something that feels controlling, and you feel like you kind of are losing or have lost yourself in something. It's time to um, walk away from that and take some time take some time away. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent um, walk away, a permanent move for you. Whatever it is, it's like saying this month is a time to pour into yourself. Your advice is um, the King of Pentacles reversed. So <clears throat> it feels like some of you are needing to focus on your healing as well as focusing on leveling up financially as well. Because it feels like you need to get away from something. And then maybe for some of you who are in this legal issue, you're focused on getting what's fair to you, getting money so that you can have some sort of material success in some sort of way. But again, this feels, something feels a little corrupted. Uh, and I don't know what that is. I'm going to pull some clarifiers. So some of you are... So, okay, if some of you are dealing with a legal situation, I feel like you're putting all of your eggs in one basket in that, in the hopes that you're going to win something. And then so it, it's taking you, like, it, it's a situation where I'm trying to explain it. It's a situation where you're working less because you're dependent that you're going to get this lump sum of something from whatever this is. So this could be an inheritance for some of you. This could be some sort of settlement, some sort of legal battle, and some sort of way that you're going to get something so you're not working as hard anymore let's clarify this but spirit is saying don't put money above all things so it feels like this is still a time for you to focus focus on something eight of swords tower Okay, so some of you may be feeling trapped in a financial situation or in a relationship or mentally you're just kind of you've checked out of something like you like I feel like you've checked out it, it feels like it feels like you're stuck you're feeling powerless in some sort of way and you're putting yourself in this self-imprisonment okay I, I it feels more like a victim mentality I'm not sure if it's something that someone is actually doing to you here Leo but there's uh, the fears the fears is what's holding you back from from something moving from moving forward it feels uh, it feels like a I feel like you've if I feel like you've lost some sort of momentum in some way. And I don't know how that shows up for you because I'm thinking about past readings and it's like, Leo, you've been on your on your game and making things happen and then it feels like it's like things are just coming to a halt or they have come to a halt to you and you're trying to work through this wall. You're trying to work through whatever this is and some of you are just don't really want to work right now. I don't I'm getting that feeling too where you're just you're waiting on something else. You're waiting on someone else to either take care of you or you're waiting on something to come in from somewhere and so you're not like that that level of passion that I've been feeling from you for the past few months. It feels like it's like it's gone. Like it's just kind of stopped. Like you're just kind of like I don't want to do that anymore. So maybe this is some sort of change that some of you are having, some sort of revelation that you're having in your life right now and you want to change and maybe you're just feeling stuck and not sure where to go very interesting but again this is energy right so energy can change it's it it's always transmuted it never dies so it can all it's always it's constantly changing okay so some of you may just be feeling exhausted or defeated in this moment and just needing to let something go so if you're needing to let go of a relationship let go of a job let go of that business idea that you had that you thought it was going to be so lucrative and you poured into it and now you're at a place where you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. There's something you have to move on from. 
because it's causing some sort of mental anguish or anxiety or something where you feel like I'm stuck. So you're, you feel, you're feeling like you're stuck in something. And maybe some of you are not walking away because you've invested a lot of money into something, a lot of money or a lot of time into something. <clears throat> so um, there's going to be a change, and this may happen suddenly, which is why the Eight of Wands here, where I said something's going to be like fast action. All I can say is is to is to accept. The change, but some of you, it may feel a little difficult, okay? It may feel a little unsettling for you. I'm going to pull one more card at the top of the Hierophant. So now we have another. So this brings me back to this energy of what do you value in your life? What's most important in your life, okay? What makes you feel good? What makes you thrive in life? The questions that are the questions that you have to ask yourself because some of you are doing something here, Leo. You're not you're either doing it for the money, you're doing it because you're just you think you're supposed to. But I feel like there's something that you're not connected to here, and it feels like it's time for you to make a change. And some of you may be a bit reluctant to change, or feel like I don't know where to go, I don't have the help, I don't know what to do. And so you're leaving yourself in this position of doing whatever you can to make money to make something work. It just feels like a very stuck energy that I'm feeling for you. It's 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 very energy uh, very interesting because I I I could put my finger on it and I can't at the same time. It's like you're stuck in some way and I and somehow and I don't know why and I don't know how, but. I feel like you want to get through it, but I think what's stopping you is your mindset. Very interesting. Okay. Your final outcome here, Leo, for the month of July is the Six of Pentacles reverse. So this definitely lets me know that you're feeling unbalanced. And some of you may be in this place where I feel like maybe you're blessings are not flowing in in this moment because you may be holding on to something too tight. It's kind of like when you you could be in a, a you could be in a place of scarcity. So, you know, you're not giving your money because you only have a little to do this and that. And so you're in this mindset of I only have a little, I can't give any out because I'll have nothing left. When source is source provides opportunities to create more wealth and abundance and prosperity but it feels like you're limited in this moment is what I'm feeling like and some of you also need to get in a place of gratitude for everything that you do have so I feel like some of you may be fighting to have more and more and more things and you're not even grateful for the things that you have so remember to take a step back during this month and moving forward to really think about all of the all of the things and the blessings and the people that have come into your life and blessings that have unfolded and be in gratitude for that because some of you are in this place of victimization um i may i'm feeling a little bit of depression and anxiety coming up for you where you feel like i'm stuck things aren't working for me this is the hand that i was dealt like this is unfair um and then you're and then that puts you in a place of being ungrateful and unthankful for the thing. So there's been some sort of, some sort of financial hardship that some of you have may have endured and it's putting you in this uh, it's putting you in this is this spiral of scarcity and limitedness. We have the four of swords reversed and the queen of cups reversed. So some of you are stressing yourself out to the point where you may be making yourself sick. So take some time to rest, which is why the Four of Swords is here, because this is saying this is exhaustion. It could be mental exhaustion, which then plays a role on your body, which then you hold on to things that creates a dis-ease within the body. Okay, so paying attention to your health, getting some rest, taking some time out, because some of you are maybe just be putting too much time into work, putting too much time into your thoughts and you're driving yourself crazy or you're overworking yourself in some way and then it's like it makes you sick. So keep that in mind this month that 
listen to your body because it's going to tell you when you need to take a seat. Okay, some of you are feeling, you know, maybe feeling rest, restless and you feel inadequate in ways because you're not producing the way that you want to. And some of you are feeling this mindset of I'm lazy or, you know, things never things good things never happen to me or and, and all of these things. And some of you are finding yourself, you know, it's difficult to relax because you're stressed. The anxiety is coming up, but also keep in mind those of you that are feeling a level of depression that is coming up for you, that you're in a spiritual awakening phase. And this is an opportunity for you to hire someone to help you through this, a healer and, you know, energy worker. Um, some of you might even need a massage as well, okay, to get some things moving, some energies moving um, in your body. You need to talk to a spiritual advisor or a counselor to sort of get things out because you're holding on to things. And this Queen of Cups reverse is definitely, she can easily fall into depression really easily and become emotionally imbalanced and exhausted and have mood changes because there's a lot going on. So there's a lot of, you know, inner, this feeling of emotional manipulation. It could be jealousy coming up heavy heart, like, um, you just being withdrawn or blocked in some sort of way. So keep this in mind. Your health is A1. Your health is the most important thing for you during this month here, Leo. And um, that really does stem initially from your mental health. Your mental health is important this month, which is going to play a role on your physical body. So make sure that you're keeping an eye on that or really tuning in and listening to what your body needs, changing your, uh, your, your mindset in ways, doing whatever you need to do in order to, um, in order to, make a change in your life. I want to pull an affirmation for you because I feel like here, um, Leo, that you need some love right now. Okay. <laughs> you need some love in this moment. You need some, you know, some healing. You need some, um, confirmation or, um, what's the, what's the word that I'm looking for? I can't think of it. It just slipped my mind that, that quickly, but you're needing, um, encouragement. One message for Leo, please. When I see good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. I acknowledge it out loud. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like this is about all of the good that is already in your life. For you to acknowledge that out loud, more of that will come into your life here, Leo. There are layers to a lot of things. You see at the core of you. Is all of this beautiful, vibrant energy, but what's happening right now is all of this gray area, black, white energy, back and forth, uh, darkness, and moments of light that is really trying to dissipate so that you can get to the core of who you are. So it feels like there's a lot of in external forces that may be blocking you in this way, and part of that is your mindset, and that is what you are seeing in the world. It's what you're listening to. It's what you're watching. Okay, because some of these things aren't even yours to even sift through, but you're leaving an open portal for yourself where things can come in and then it feels like it's things that you have to work through when it's just distracting you. <clears throat> it's distracting you from what you actually need to work through to get to this layer of you, your core, your essence. So remember to be in gratitude. Stay in gratitude during this month. Be thankful and grateful for the things that you have so that you can bring more of that into your life. This is just a moment for you to awaken to something new. Okay, that is your reading, Leo. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If this resonates with you, leave me a comment below. Like and share this video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Enjoy the month of July and happy early birthday to you, Leo. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light to you. Peace.